Hi Capricorn, welcome to Angela 333. Hope everybody is doing great. Getting ready here to do your reading. Just a couple things here before we get started. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Um, I am giving away a free personal reading uh, to enter. You just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will announce the winner the first week of every month. Uh, also below... What else do I have below? <laughs> there will be an extended reading link. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Uh, I do look at the next three weeks energy going forward uh, from this reading, and I will treat it as a personal reading. So details are below. And then lastly, I have started posting to my meditation, Relax Calm channel, if you'd like to check it out. And all that details are below as well. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the tower. So I surrender and know how to go forward. All right. So I feel like with this tower moment, um, Capricorn, the energy here is showing me. So either something happened in your life or something isn't working or you're feeling like there is not a strong foundation. And if that is the case here, I feel like Spirit is saying it's time to surrender, let go and have faith that everything's working out for your highest good. So if something happened here in your situation, it may be that either it was not the right timing Maybe it wasn't as strong of a foundation that you thought it was. Um, but let's see what your cards show. So I'm going to pull your cards and um, then we'll clarify what's needed. And then we'll get some guidance. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, interesting. You know what's interesting? You got the Page of Cups and you had the Page of Pentacles here. I can't remember what sign it was. Um, I want to say it was Leo or Gemini, but these two exact cards fell in the same position. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, interesting. We have... <clears throat> excuse me, the lovers, Gemini energy, my allergies are bothering me. So, okay, in the recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and we have the Star card. So I feel Capricorn, you were giving to a situation with somebody. Somebody I feel like you could see yourself happy with. I do feel that you felt happy with this person. Could be an Aquarius, strong Aquarius there with that star card. I feel there was hope here, right? I feel there was hope here. Either it was around a relationship, maybe even settling down, having a family with this person. Um, but the energy that I get here, especially with that tower here in the Six of Pentacles, I don't feel like you were getting what you were giving in this connection or this relationship, all right? Now, um, we'll go back to that in your current energy, we have the Two of Wands, the King of Swords, and we have the Page of Cups. So whoever this person is, I do feel that they are still around you. I feel like potentially this, is, this person here soon is going to reach out to you if they haven't already, okay? They're coming up here as the King of Swords, very strong energy in the center of your reading there. And what I see there is that this is someone who is not giving a whole lot emotionally. It shows me that here with that King of Swords and the Page of Cups. And I feel like the reason why this person is not giving a whole lot emotionally because I feel like they are trying to make some sort of decision here in their life with that two of wands. I feel for some of you, this could be someone who's trying to make a decision on uh, a home move or a relocation could have to do uh, with work as well. Um, or I just feel here that this person is thinking about the future. I don't feel like no matter what your situation, even if you're, you have no contact or you're separated, I feel like this person hasn't completely made any decisions here about this connection or relationship. Right now, they're in that mode where I feel like they are thinking about you. But I also see here communication. I feel like you're going to hear from this person. You have the lover's card here. So it shows me no matter what, 
with this person, this person's very drawn to you. This person has a strong chemistry with you, connection with you. But again, it shows me a decision. Okay. Now, I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles and I'm going to ask what has been holding back? What is why has this person been holding back from, you know, putting um, time, energy, right? Investing in this connection or relationship. Why is, why has this person been not giving as much? Okay, so look at that. Two of Wands basically tells me there, okay, we got the devil, your energy, and King of Swords. Okay, I feel it's around the decision. Here's the three of wands on the bottom of the deck as well. So I feel like this is someone who is definitely thinking about the future. They're looking at their options. I feel like they're trying to envision and be clear about what they want. So I sense here that this person is attached to you. Definitely feel like this person has feelings for you. But I also get the energy they're not giving a whole lot, which is interesting here. So I feel like it's around the decision. Let's see what this decision is. Why is the two of wands here, please? Why is the two of wands here, please? <clears throat> you got the ace of wands. We have the queen of wands. And we also have here the five of pentacles. Okay. And bottom of the deck here, we have the hangman. Okay, so I'm going to be quite honest here, uh, Capricorn. I feel like there could be somebody else around your person. I feel like there could be another uh, option around your person. I feel like this could even be an X energy I'm picking up. Um, someone... I feel like this could be somebody um, that they were with in the past that left them out in the cold, so to speak. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card because I, I feel like it's not going to be that situation for everyone. So let's pull another card here. Okay, look at that. The star showed up again. Okay. It may be too that you're this person here... Um, they're trying to decide if they want to really, I feel here, be in a relationship. It almost feels like this is someone, they've got some healing uh, to deal with. They do feel like they are maybe a little bit insecure. Also, too, I get the energy that there may be, like I said, some other opportunity, a home move or something like that. Something where they can increase, um, I feel, their money. Could be something that they've hoped for, wished for. So I feel like for some of you, it could actually be a home move or a job relocation could be the factor here. But some of you, I feel like there could also be somebody around this person that this person has dealt with before, right? Let's clarify that King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups. We got the World card. And we got the page of wands. Okay, yeah. I'm really picking up that this person is detached emotionally. They're keeping things casual because I feel like they have not made any final decisions. And again, the three of wands is on the bottom of the deck. Let's see why the page of cups is here. Why is the page of cups here, please? <clears throat> we got the seven of cups. We have the six of pentacles. We got... Um, Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and we also have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, okay? So I get that this person here, again, showing me not giving a whole lot here. I feel like you're going to get communication from this person, but at the same token with that Seven of Cups, I feel like this is someone who is going to leave you questioning things. And that's what's showing up in the current energy. So if you've not heard from this person, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Now, let's see here. We got the Nine of Pentacles in the near future. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Page of Pentacles. So I see here some good news, a message here. I see also here uh, the Five of Swords 
Five of Swords is my third party card, but let's see why that Five of Swords is here, please. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Okay, we got the Four of Wands, got the Ten of Wands, got the Judgment. One more, please. The full card okay and bottom of the deck here we have the hermit you know capricorn i feel like you're dealing with someone um who is struggling to make a commitment i feel like this person you know the energy that i i see here you could be dealing with somebody who spends a lot of time alone um again i feel like the issue here is this person is deciding, you know, trying to make a decision whether they want to be in a relationship or commitment. It feels like this person here, you know, they want to be single here. At the same token here, though, they're trying to make that judgment call, that leap of faith here, whether they want to be in a relationship or a commitment here. So I do feel like this person is struggling here to make some sort of decision. Why is this person struggling to make a decision? What is the issue here? Page of Swords. Tower. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. Okay. Two of Pentacles. So either there's another person around your person and this person is trying to make a decision. I get that for some of you. Like I said, this is my third party card. Or the energy that I get here is that I feel like there could have been some sort of conflict or falling out between the two of you. Some distance here. And... I feel like this person is not too sure whether things will work out for the two of you. If this is something that can be rekindled. I see them going back and forth, weighing their options here. This could be you as well. So remember, roles can be reversed. However, I do feel like there is some good news here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? We got the Emperor, Aries Energy. We got the Hermit. Interesting. Oh my gosh, the three of wands, the four of swords. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we got the nine of wands. Okay, wow. This person has definitely had some time to think here, Capricorn. Um, I do feel like there's something here they're having regrets about. Uh, they're showing up as the nine of wands. Showing me they're inconsistent. I feel like you're going to hear from this person, but I don't feel like you're going to get a whole lot from this person because I don't feel like this person has made decisions. And this has been coming up for a, a, quite a while. You have the Emperor, the Hermit, the Three of Wands, and you also have here the Four of Swords. This is someone I feel who they don't really open up or they're, they're very vulnerable um, until they are very sure about the direction they're going in and what they want. So I feel like this person here, right now the energy is showing me that they haven't made any decisions. Okay, they really haven't made any decisions. And so I feel like Capricorn, what I'm going to do here, because I do feel like for a lot of you, this is someone that um, at times is distant or there is separation between the two of you. I'm just going to see what is coming in for Capricorn for new love because I feel like this has been this energy for quite some time. What's coming in for Capricorn for new love? Okay, we got the Four of Cups. We have Justice, Libra Energy. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Lovers, interesting, Gemini energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. Look at that. And we have the Four of Wands and bottom of the deck here. You have the Two of Cups. Okay. I feel Capricorn, there's a new soulmate coming in for you. Um, here it is, the Four of Cups and the Lovers. So a choice between two lovers. I feel like, you know, the person that you are dealing with, and I'm going to say here you got the two of cups. I feel this energy with the lovers is your person. I feel what keeps you so um, connected to this person is that you feel that very strong pull, that very strong chemistry with this person. Could be a past life connection. 
But what I'm going to say here with that Four of Cups, there's a new person coming into your life. The universe is bringing you somebody new. And you're going to have to make a choice or a decision. I feel like you're hesitant because I feel like you feel such a strong connection with this person. But what I want to say here with that Two of Cups is that this is someone I feel that you could have a partnership with. Someone who will be on the same page as you is the energy that I'm getting there. Now you have a justice and you have here the four of pentacles. I feel like too, another reason you're holding on to this connection with this person is I feel like you may feel like this person wasn't fair to you, okay? Right, it wasn't fair how they treated you. It wasn't fair that you gave so much and this person didn't give back. And I feel like that's why you're holding on to this connection here. You do have the Four of Swords and you also have here the Four of Wands. So I feel Capricorn, there's, there's a new opportunity that's coming in for you, but at the same token, I get the energy that um, spirit is guiding you here to really gain some clarity here. If you're somebody who is wanting a relationship, you're wanting something stable, you have to look at the energy with this other person. Is it just the connection? Is it just the chemistry? Because if this person is not on the same page, and remember you have this tower energy here, right? It's showing me there's not a strong foundation, Okay, there's not a strong a strong foundation between you and this person and whatever has happened um it's the universe saying it's time to surrender and um you know learn how to move forward and if this other person is ready they're going to catch up to you okay but i sense here with um that energy that there's someone new and you're going to have a choice here you're still going to hear from this other person. There's no doubt about that. But they haven't made any decisions. And I feel like this has been someone who hasn't made any decisions for quite some time. So let's see what other messages come out for you. We have the Four of Cups. I listen to my heart and I follow my knowing. All right. It's also a number four. Again, a number fours are about stability, reliability, foundation. Okay, and also being practical. You have to look at this from a practical standpoint. Let's see what else comes out for you. We have the Ace of Wands. I'm inspired to follow my passion. I feel like this is that new opportunity that's coming in for you. So there is going to be some sort of new opportunity, but some of you too, this could be also about following your passions. And we also have here, look at that, the Queen of Wands. I am naturally creative, right? So some of you, that's single energy, very attractive energy, very passionate energy. So I do feel um, you wouldn't have any problem attracting somebody here. But some of you too may be focusing your energy on doing something that you love to do. And look at this, bottom of the deck here you have the Ten of Cups. I have all I wish for in my relationships. This is your happiness, all right? So really you're being guided here, uh, Capricorn. I feel here to go after what you want in life. If this person is not there for you, if this person is keeping you in limbo, I feel like Spirit is guiding you to move forward, right? Move forward towards your happiness and follow your heart and what you love and what you desire and what you're passionate about, okay? So Capricorn, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.